I always loved reading, and there are times in life when we feel one chapter close and another one begin. It's always interesting to look back in time and to look for those big changes and decisive moments that brought you to where you are today. In my case, it all corresponds so nicely with my studies and the doors that they've opened. I started my first degree in 1996 at the American University of Beirut, and I really had no idea at the time what graphic design was, and I wasn't really so good at it. In the spring of my second year, I seriously contemplated dropping out, and the only thing that stopped me was Arabic typography. We had this wonderful teacher, Samir Sayer, and he introduced us to Arabic calligraphy and typography, and it became very clear very quickly that this is what I want to do for the rest of my life. Studying with him opened my eyes to the beauty of the Arabic script, its richness and endless potential, but also the stark contrast with the poor quality of Arabic typefaces available to us at the time. I wanted to design Arabic typefaces to explore the potential to communicate in Arabic in a spirit of modernity and openness that is unshackled from the historic restrictions that had given us the poor state of design we were in at the time. I wanted to look for the words that would speak to our life, how we lived it then, and our ambitions for the future we would pursue. But to do so, I needed to learn how to design type, and for that, I went to the University of Reading. The MA in typeface design was what put me on the career path that got me here. The chance to study with brilliant designers and talented classmates was an incredible experience. There are two ways to learn a new skill. You can either try to go at it on your own, or you can join a course and embark on a journey of discovery that will take you places you never knew existed. I learned so much in that year, and for that I am forever grateful. I was hired straight after graduation, and after teaching a few courses in Beirut and Dubai, I moved to Germany in 2005 to join what was formerly Linotype and was later acquired by Monotype. 2007, I started my PhD in legibility research. I had so many questions and I wanted the space to look for the answers. And throughout my career, every time I wanted the door to open, I enrolled in a course that gave me the keys to that door. There has never been anything more rewarding or time better spent than the days, months and years I spent in school. Today I'm in front of another door that I want to open. And for many years I've been interested in politics and its relation to culture and design. With so much upheaval in the world today, I have felt more and more compelled to take part in the political process. I don't know how or in which format, but I do know that I'll always be a designer at heart. And designing letter forms exclusively while the world lurches around us is unfortunately no longer an option. So I have to take some kind of personal action. So this September, I started a Master of Studies in International Relations at Cambridge, and it's the best thing that has ever happened to me. I still don't know what this means for my work and my career path, but I am keenly aware of the ground shifting beneath my feet. And when I read more about international politics, the picture becomes clearer and new details come into focus. We're more than the professions that define us. We are citizens. And as designers, we've learned to communicate. So why should we not be part of the conversations that shape the world we live in? And I don't mean that we should all head over to Twitter now. No, we need to educate ourselves on the issues that we care about and then engage with a wider community in a conversation based on knowledge, facts and sound reasoning.